Hello everyone, my name is Bradley G. Munkowitz, also known as G. Munk. I am a graphic designer and director from San Francisco. I do, I have a long background in motion graphics, um, have been doing commercial directing now for about five years maybe. Uh, do a lot of installation work, a lot of work with light, a lot of psychedelic themes, um, like shooting things. Oh, um, I think I think one thing that I've always been um, adamant about is staying diverse. You know, just kind of being able to do a lot of different things, and with each project, you kind of change styles, you change approaches, change techniques. Um, always important to want to learn uh, and grow, and just you know, if I if I was doing the same thing for everybody, I think it would be a lot more difficult to please a lot of clients. I'd be very pigeonholed into kind of one thing, so. Um, for me, over the years, I've just been always pushing to do a lot of different aesthetics and styles and vibes. You know, the only the only thing that I don't do is cute little character animation. That's the only thing I don't do, and I don't know how I would get into that. It's, I don't know about that one. Well, I just got here last night at 4 in the morning, so um, I haven't been here very long. Um, just really this afternoon, but yeah, it seems good. Seems big. Seems uh, warm. The, the organizers are great. Um, seems seems great so far. I'm about to give a speech in about an hour, uh, so I'll let you know after how that goes. Should be about a maybe a 75 minute to 90 minute speech, about 921 slides to be exact. It's gonna be a throwdown. What are my recommendations for the young people? I would say uh, use reference, study a lot, use the internet to you know do tutorials to find your idols, uh, emulate your idols. You know that's what I did when I started out. I found you know the the work that spoke to me and I just copied it. Um, and then from there, kind of once I got myself kind of up, you know, not to that level, but just going on uh, a style that really made my heart sing and started to feel the passion. Um, from there, you can kind of branch out. But I think it's important to find uh, work that really, really makes you feel inspired and alive and kind of run with that uh, when you first start out. Um, I'd also say take care of yourself. Uh, develop good habits about your health. Um, this industry is hard. It's a lot of work. It's really um, erratic hours. It's, um, you know, it's just, it's just kind of like... Uh, ebbs and flows, you know, it's, it's, there's never a really a constant with it. You can be really busy and then really not busy and then really busy again. And so it's important that you um, develop good habits for your health because you're going to need that extra energy when you get really busy or get really stressed out or there's something looming, you know, over you. I think you, you need that extra, extra burst. So, so be healthy um, and network. Get your stuff online. Um, you know, start talking to people. Use Behance. Use Instagram. Use Twitter. Um, put your work out there. Talk to people. Communicate with people. Go to functions. Go to conferences, um, and just hustle. Hustle. It's not. This isn't an insular game. This is actually a. a, a it's a, a huge community. You got to be a part of. Um, you got to play the game. You know, it's it, it's a game. It's like a it's like a it's like a video game, and you gotta you gotta play the game. You can't just think that you can't be shy about your work. You can't be kind of uh, closed. It has to be an open system. So, be an open system. Be a lover. Talk to people. You should be all right. Ibero 90.9.